Hello, I'm Anjum Talabi. So now I'm gonna do D flip flop VSTL software, which we have in the lab for third sem B students. Okay, so this is the Xilinx ASC. So this screen will appear, we are going this, we are following the same procedure as we followed in our previous video that is marks, okay, go to file, select new project, type some name, Ula. I'm giving Ula. Any name you can give, it's your wish. Next. Next. Here. New source. VHDL module. Select VHDL module and give the same name which you have given previously. That is Ula. And now. next so here introduce the port names as you can see here it is D clock Q and Q bar here you can see clearly that Q is the in out and Q bar is just the output D and clock are inputs same way we're gonna input here that is D clock Q and QB so this Q bar Q is in out Q bar is out no bus selections here just go next finish next next and finish this will appear, go down where you find the begin. Yes, here it is. Now we'll follow this code which is given in the lab manual. Okay, now let us start typing the code. That's it. Here I've typed. No need to type any behavioral as it is in the itself now see the options select synthesize XST double click I always forget to see if saving is really necessary so save it first and now synthesis XST And you can see the green logo, which means you're going right. Double click implement design then. I'm really zooming it so that you can see it properly. Okay, now you see everything has turned green. If you do for implement design, it turns all this green, right? Translate and all. So, this is what my PC shows, no need to worry about. Go to your file. Yeah, the same options, everything is right. Now go to this. This is your file, right? Right click it, press new source. I mean click new source. And here this appears again. This time select test bench waveform. See it clearly? It is a test bench waveform. Now keep some other name. La, la. You have given la la. Okay. Next. Next. Finish. 
so here it appears if this is colored block then it's fine you are going right no need to change anything over here don't even touch so directly go finish this you will get this screen now you need to change D as you can see in the truth table it is 0 1 or 1 0 it's your wish to give here I'm giving 1 0 1 0 1 and 0 that's it no need to change QB and Q because those are outputs you have to get now save it really necessary to save and after saving change the option to behavioral behavioral simulation okay this new name appears here right Lala select the new name and go down you can see no options here now but go down and select processes here process as soon as you select processes the options comes up here double click simulate behavioral model okay wait for it to get simulated it's taking time here but you will get simulated yes you can see this is the output q bar q and q bar that is q and qb you are getting the output very correctly and what that's it thank you very much